Welcome back to How to Castle. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a main menu screen for your game. Okay, so to start, you want to create a new text blueprint. So create, then go to text, then you want to edit the blueprint, and then modify the text. Change it to whatever font and color you want. I'm going to go bold and purple. For this example, I'm going to name the game Gem Grab. Once finished, drag your text into the editor and scale it to the appropriate size. Now in this example, I want the text to fall from the top of the screen, so I'm going to drag the text up and out of the camera viewpoint. Now in order for this text to fall, we need to give it physics, so go to movement and put the movement on dynamic. This allows it to put physics such as being solid, having the ability to bounce, and having gravity. And while we're at it, might as well throw in an access lock so it doesn't rotate. Go ahead and turn rotates off. Now as you can see, when you press play, the text kind of just falls. We need something to catch it. So let's go ahead and create a new empty blueprint. Drag the blueprint how low you want the text to sit. I'm going to go right about there. Edit blueprint. And then you want to make it solid. Now when we click play, you can see the text kind of bounces. But it's bouncing a little bit too high. So to fix that... Go back into the editor, click on your text, edit blueprint, and then change bounce to something lower. I'm going to go 0.35. Good. Now we need a play button, so go ahead and create a new text. Then edit blueprint, go over to general, and then change it to whatever you want. I'm going to do black. Once finished, drag it into the editor. I want the play button to kind of swoop in from the left. So I'm going to drag it out to the left. So we need something to catch it. Use the same solid blueprint we used for the other text and put it in the appropriate spot. And just like before, turn on dynamic and turn on solid and bounce. Now change the x velocity to 3. Now if we go ahead and click play, we can see it moves, but it kind of just bounces away. We need it to stop moving once it collides with the wall. So go to the solid empty blueprint we just created, edit blueprint, go over to general, scroll down to tags and add tags wall. Doing this allows us to reference this wall in later scripts for other actors. Head over to the play button and edit blueprint. Go over to logic and create a new logic. When this collides with tag wall, it should just pop up right there. Then for the response, we need to modify the x velocity to zero. So go to modifier property, select property, and do dynamic motion. Then do x velocity and it should automatically be zero. Now if we go ahead and click play, you can see that the play button just sits there when it collides with the wall. Now this next part is just customizing it to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and skip over all the customizing parts. Alright, so this is how I made it look, but when you click play, nothing happens. I'm going to show you how to fix that. In the editor, go over to the play button and edit the blueprint. Go ahead and head over to logic and create a new logic. Click on the empty logic and do when this is tapped, then select the response. Send player to different card. Then choose whatever card is your game card. Now if we go ahead and click play, you can see when, when you tap the play button, it sends it to the card. However, it looks a little dual, so to fix that, we're going to make a spicy transition. Go ahead and create a new blueprint, scroll down to background. Drag the background so it's covering the entire camera viewpoint. Then put it in the background. Now go ahead and edit the blueprint so it's just pitch black. Go over to general, artwork. Delete shapes to, and then make it black. Once done, we need to make it fade in once the play button is clicked. So go ahead and turn the opacity to zero. Then we want to go over to tags and add tag fade. Doing that allows us to reference it when we click the play button. Head over to the play button and click edit blueprint. Now go over to logic and delete that. We don't need it. Let's create a new logic. Click the plus and click on the empty logic. When this is tapped, select response, then scroll down to tell. Tell actors the tag, fade, it should pop up right there. Done. And then we're going to tell actors the tag fade to perform modify, and then go scroll down to opacity. Then make it negative 0 0.01, like so. Then click on modify, and do repeat every n seconds. Change that to the lowest it can possibly go. 
then make sure you click relative or else it's not going to work. Obviously it's not going to work because I made a mistake, so go and make it positive. The reason why I didn't fix it before is because I already, I already recorded the voice lines for this video and I'm going to do that again. So go ahead and make it positive. As you can see when you press play, the background fades but it's behind the actors. We need it to be in front of them. So to do that, scroll over to the background and we need to go to edit blueprint and then create new logic. When this is created, move this actor to the front. Now the final step is to go to the play button and create a new logic. Do when this is tapped. My phone died. Anyway, when this is tapped, we're gonna go to select response, scroll down to wait before response. Then click add response and scroll down to send play at a different card. Then choose the game card. Save your work and go ahead and make this your top card, considering it's your main menu. Then go over to your game card and we're going to finish off the transition by adding in a new background. Now we're going to do the same thing to this background as we did in the other card. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the logic. When this is created, scroll down to repeat every n seconds and then change it to the lowest possible. Go to select response. Scroll down to modify a property and then go to modify opacity. Then once you do that, go negative 0.01 and then make sure it's relative just like before. And finally, to finish this off, create a new logic and do when this is created, move this actor to the front. And then once you do that, it should completely be done. There you go. That is how you make a main menu screen in Castle. I hope this information gets used to make really good projects. I'll be there to play them. Goodbye.